No, I mean, we work with Enercan, we work with the Department of Energy in the United States. Before I came to this, I called my contacts down there. Yeah. Basically, to put it in short, this is a bogus worry. It's not something that people should be concerned about. So, Hannah, if we really want to talk about the problem here, mm -hmm. I'll show you. Th this is the problem. It's, co it's air pollution. If you use one of these bulbs, you stop half a ton of pollution from coming out of a coal plant from somewhere. Yeah, you know what? 90, I, ch I changed no. every bulb in my house, okay, to those mm -hmm. bulbs. And then I hear this story. And probably, right. like most Canadians listening to this, are thinking, I did it because I wanted to save the environment and I wanted to save right. money, right? Two right. things. But exactly. now, I've got three kids, you know? What else right. am I hearing? So you can't, you can't I don't know if you can well, just tell me it's bogus and say, it's okay, okay well, it's here, bogus. Here's this. You know that even the British study, if you cite the British study, 30 centimeters away for prolonged exposure could possibly cause reddening of the skin. Right. That's about this close. I don't know about you, Sue Hannah, but I don't spend a lot of time hanging out this close <laughs> to a light bulb. And if you do, maybe there are some other things that we could talk about. But let's get to the heart hey, of the issue here. Hey, are you suggesting here. something? Are you Because if you are, this interview's over, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. No, this is meant to be friendly, right? Your All CBC. Right. Look, look, seriously, let's talk about the real issue here. If you change one of these bulbs, you'll save up to $50 on your energy bill. That's important, especially for families these days. You cut half a ton of pollution. There's a lot more damaging stuff going out into the air from a coal plant, but the difference of electricity that's used between this and an incandescent light bulb, that's mm -hmm. really important. You know, uh, 9,500 people in Ontario every year die because of air pollution smog and things like that. That's an Ontario Medical Association study and it's a fact, not some speculation. We need to do something about air pollution and the most simple thing you can do is replace the bulbs in your house yeah. to compact fluorescence and then maybe not hang out so close to them now, to minimize the absolute minimal <laughs> risk that you're ever going to have any trouble. By Seriously. Tw by 2012, Stuart, incandescent bulbs are going to be banned in Canada. I mean, but That's right. It's a good thing. Yeah. In light of these uh, concerns, do you think that could be uh, looked at again? Do you think it should be re-analyzed? No, no. Like I said at the beginning, it's important for us to assess the risk of new technologies. Yeah. It's a great thing that Health Canada is doing, but let's talk about risk. Everything has some kind of risk. It's important that we study it, but this, isn't, this story isn't about some new finding that this is a conclusive thing. It's an absolute minimal risk, and I seriously doubt that there will be any kind of effect or any kind of finding. Because, like I said, we've handed out we've handed out millions of these. We've never heard a report of anyone suffering the kind of exposure or, or incident that's been mentioned. And the the risk benefit analysis is so profound with these things. Changing them is really important for our future, for the economy, for the environment. The risk is absolutely minimal based on what we know, based on what's very important and secure sources like DOE and, and Enercan are saying. Uh, we welcome any other findings, but I'm, I'm saying use these bulbs. It's still the smart thing to do. It's the safe thing to do. Stuart, and we know, wanna... Suhanna, one more thing. I want to say one more thing. You put a bulb like this in someone's hand and you give them the opportunity to change it, they start to think of themselves a little differently. They start doing other things in their home to cut their energy use, to cut pollution, and that makes a healthier planet for all of us, and that's really what we need to do is to make smarter choices. Have you this call, is a have smart you, choice. Have you called these British health officials, Stuart, because you're the kind of guy who would, and said, you know what, this is bogus? Well, bogus is a strong word, but, uh, you know, when I got that from Washington today, today I thought, okay, the Amer that's what the Americans are saying, that's what I'm going to say to my friends across Canada. All right. I want to thank yeah. you, Stuart Hickox, for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, good to have you. Thanks for having me on. All right.